In this screencast, we are going to run UndoDB and GDB's inbuilt process record side by side to compare the performance. UndoDB's runtime slowdown in record mode is typically two to four times, while GDB's process record is typically 50,000 times slower. We are going to debug the same demo program as in our example debugging session screencast. The example program caches previously calculated square roots. Though you would never write a program like this in reality, it is useful for the purpose of demonstration, as it is a simple program that contains a non-obvious bug. UndoDB and NativeGDB will both be used to debug this program. Though UndoDB can be used from any of the common GDB frontends, such as Eclipse, DDD, and Emacs, we will use the command line in the screencast. Let's start with UndoDB. In the other window, we'll start GDB. In GDB, it is necessary to explicitly enable the recording. While with UndoDB, recording is automatically enabled. When we run the program with UndoDB, we hit the assertion almost immediately after hitting Enter. Now let's run the program with GDB and start a stopwatch to keep track of the time elapsed. GDB is taking some time to record. For GDB to record the whole program, we need to allocate more buffer, or to change it to use a circular event log. The same feature is available in UndoDB, though it wasn't needed for such a small debugging session. UndoDB has already recorded our program. Reverse finish to pop up the call stack. Here's our assertion. We can see the square root is not equal to check. In fact, we are trying to get the square root of 255. By stepping back a couple of lines, and then reverse stepping into the cache calculate function, we can see the cache is returning bad data. Let's look at i. i is 90, so it is the 90th element of the cache, which is corrupted. As in our example debugging session screencast, we can place a watch point on the value member of the 90th element of the cache and reverse continue. This shows us the point at which the cache is corrupted. Value 2 is corrupted. We can set a reverse watch point on value 2 to see how it has obtained its expected value. We can see the value is 0, so we're assigning to value negative 1. Let's reverse finish to go to the core site, and indeed, value is 0. We have now debugged the problem with UndoDB. Native GB is still recording. Eventually, GDB finishes recording, and GDB's inbuilt process record took a full four and a half minutes to record our very small program that fails almost instantly when run either natively or in UndoDB.